When developing an Angular app, you will most likely run into a scenario in which you need to use the same code across multiple components. So you may even need to share data between these components, or you may need to fetch data from a database of some sort. So it's these times when creating an Angular service makes sense. So an Angular service is simply a function that allows you to access its defined properties and methods, and it also helps keep your coding organized. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So this tutorial is a part of our free Angular 4 course, and we've already established a project that was generated with the Angular command line interface. So I'm going to assume if you're following along with this course uh, that you've already done that. So if not, use the Angular CLI to generate a project, and then you can hop right in. So it allows us to generate the Angular CLI that is a service. So it takes care of some of the manual labor involved with service creation. So to create a service, we want to hop in at the project folder and simply type ng, g for generate. The type is going to be a service and then the name of our service, something that would be relevant based on what it's doing. So I'm just going to call this data. Hit enter. Okay, so now upon running it, you may see at uh, the bottom, it says uh, warning service is generated but not provided. It must be provided to be, to be used. So what this means is we're gonna hop into the project with our code editor and we wanna go to app.module.ts. And so we have to import it in our app module file. So import and then the name of it. Well, what is the name of our service? Well, if we click right here, we'll see we have data service.ts defined, and we'll see that it says export class data service. That is the name that we need to import. So I'm just gonna paste that right here, and then from the location of the file, and then that will be data.service. All right, not done yet. Once we've imported it, then we also have to add it to the providers array. So data service. All right, great. So let's go ahead and save that. And now let's work within the actual data service file itself. Okay. So it looks actually fairly similar. Let me increase the size just a bit to a component, except that it's importing an injectable as we can see on line one. And also it's using it as a decorator on line three. All right, so the injectable decorator simply emits metadata associated with this given service, which lets Angular know if it needs to inject other dependency in, into this service. So we're not gonna be injecting any dependencies into this simple example service that we're about to create, but it's recommended to leave the injectable decorator for future proofing and to ensure consistency. But you could get rid of lines one and three and our service would still work. So Ordinarily at this point, you know, you may connect to a database to return some results, uh, but to keep things simple here, let's hard code our own array and create a simple method. So underneath the constructor, let's just say we have an array called cars. All right, inside of it, we'll have Ford, maybe we'll have Chevrolet, Buick, etc. You get the point. All right, so let's add our semicolon there and then let's create a method of some sort so we'll just say my data and we'll return a simple string this is my data man all right so that is all our very pathetic and simple service is going to be all right so ordinarily you'd have a lot of different imports up here um, if it were an actual service like for connecting to a database but um just for now just to help you understand the concept of a service we're just keeping things simple here okay so now at this point we need to actually use the service in one of our components that's the whole point so let's bring our sidebar up here and let's go to our app.component.ts all right great so in order to use a service, it has to be imported. So again, we could just real quickly go back to our app module, copy this line here and paste it. All right, now we can actually use it. First, we have to use it through dependency injection, which is done through the constructor. So we add our constructor here. All right, and then inside of it, we simply add private 
and then we'll create a name to access this service. So we'll call this data service and data service, which is coming from what we imported up here with the name of it. All right, so now we can access it. Let me go ahead and get rid of this real quickly. That's from the previous lesson. And to use it, let's use the ng-on-init lifecycle hook. And this simply means that anything defined within this method called ng-on-init uh, will run when the component loads. So let's go ahead and access the cars array that we created. So we'll just console log it for now. This dot data service dot cars. All right. Let's also create a property of some sort that we can use in our template up here through interpolation. So let's create a name, some property of type string, make it equal nothing. And then when this is ran on ng on init, we'll say this dot some property equals this dot data service. And we'll call that method my data. All right, great. So let's save, come up to our template. We'll get rid of our H1. And we'll just add a P tag. And through interpolation, some property. All right, let's go back to our console. Make sure you save it. We'll run ng serve if you don't have it currently running. All right, there should be no errors showing up. If there are, then just, you know, ascertain what it is based on the error. Use Google if you need to figure out. Just go through back through the steps. Make sure you didn't, there was no typos or you didn't miss any steps. Um, though, if uh, everything turns out good here as it is on mine, go to the browser and go to localhost 4200. And we could see we have our method returning our string right here. And then if we hit control shift I, go to the console, we could see our array that was coming out here with Ford, Chevrolet, and Buick. All right, so this in a nutshell are how Angular services work. So you create services that are specific to a given purpose, and which can be reused across multiple components in your Angular app.